That thing's at least 100 pounds, and it's awkward as shit. Well, Go ahead. Lucky for you on the beast. Go ahead, Superman. So he just gave this to you? Well, 50 bucks. What the fuck are you doing? You gotta be fucking kidding me! Well, it's under fair use as it's a parody. If you don't have a sense of humor, go f Welcome. Is this my reality? Is this your reality? Welcome. It's that time of the year and we keep seeing commercials and ads on the internet for new television technology. And what we wanted to know, what's the difference between OLED and QLED televisions? So as it is video, there are two primary technologies in high-end television sets. You have OLED and QLED, but which one's the right one for you? Now, if you've casually looked for a TV lately, you've likely been inundated with an assortment of acronyms, 4K, 8K, UHD, HDR, and so on. All of the major manufacturers, Sony, Samsung, LG, and others use them. So while it's easy to confuse the two, these are similar sounding terms and are actually vastly diverse technologies. But what are they? Why do they sound alike, yet work so differently? And more importantly, what kind of TV tech is right for you? And this is what happens when you go out and you make a purchase on a television for a lot of money and you didn't get what you want. Don't be this guy. Let's see, what kind of TV do you want? Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell, or I'm sending this guy to your house. God fucking damn it! Let's start with QLED. How do QLED TVs work? Well, a QLED is basically the most advanced version of conventional LCD LED technology. Remember the old LCD or plasma debate? LCD won handily and dominates the TV market today. And these TVs, the LEDs or light emitting diodes, function as a backlight, which transmits the image through the LCD screen. But there's a big problem with LED LCD TVs. That backlight color and how it's rendered as an image by the LCD screen can vary pretty widely from set to set. Now QLED tries to solve that by putting a thin layer called a quantum dot filter between the LED backlight and the LCD screen. That's where the Q comes from. So this quantum dot filter essentially purifies the color of the light coming from the LEDs to get a better, more vivid and more saturated color. So it's still a conventional LCD LED sandwich, just with a fancy quantum dot layer in there to brighten things up a bit. Next up, we have the OLED TV. What is an OLED TV and how does it work? Well, an OLED TV is a fundamentally different technology than the conventional LED LCD TVs. The OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode. In an OLED TV, the pixels, the pixels emit their own light, which means there's no need for that pesky LCD screen. There are three so-called micropixels in each OLED pixel, corresponding to red, green, and blue color matrix to produce colors. Now, for the part you've been waiting for. Which one of these has the best picture? For now, OLED has a better image quality and contrast. In particular, OLED is better at displaying deep blacks, which matters for scenes shot at night or in low light. Like all those shitty action movies we see shot in the dark with the quick cameras. You can't see what even's going on. What are you guys doing? This is because an OLED pixel can be turned completely off, so there's no light at all coming from it. In a conventional LED TV set, the LEDs never completely turn off, so they use dark grays to simulate blacks. Come on, that looks horrible. You can see the difference most clearly, like we said, in those night scenes. And since OLED pixels are individually controlled, they're also very fast to change color. 
That's important for things like gaming or watching sports or action movies. Plus, OLEDs offer a wider range of viewing angles and because there's no LCD screen, the TVs themselves are thinner because that's what we need. Dinner TVs, I can't wait till I got one the size of a credit card and just put it in my back pocket, which makes them flusher for wall mount setups. So far, OLED seems the way to go, but there's one advantage that a QLED TV has, and for their part, QLED TVs have better brightness thanks to the quantum dot filter. That makes them better for rooms with higher levels of ambient light, like a living room with a lot of windows, and QLED TVs are Here's the big one, less expensive, dollar dollar bill y'all, that matters. A gap that increases with the size of the TV. What you should be thinking about here is what's best for you, what's best for your situation. All right, generally an OLED TV is a better choice for most situations. When we asked the sales staff at Listen Up, a high-end home theater store with locations in Colorado and New Mexico, they lauded OLEDs, bright colors, better contrast, and wider viewing angles compared to the QLED. The exception, the exception is that QLED works better in bright rooms and is made in larger sizes than most LED TVs while costing a hell of a lot less, especially depending on the size. So those are the differences between an OLED and a QLED TV. Considering price, think about it and don't let them sell you something and tell you it's something else. Don't fall for that. What do you guys think? Any one of you guys got one of these TVs thinking of getting one? Leave a comment down below. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. What are you doing? I will, my goddamn! Get out of the Oh, goddamn! Mother! Oh, my God. Get out of me!